so this was the html file created and you can see uh, i have joined at the meeting started at 7:25 uh, it says the time here and uh, I'm, i have been joined using my mobile at uh, 7:28 and uh, up to 7:30 yeah, yeah, 7.30 was there. So it shows uh, the duration of my presence in this meeting. Hello friends, welcome to GSSK channel. Hope all of you are connecting online events and online classes. And one thing is uh, everyone is searching a plugin for uh, getting the attendance from the meetings, right? So yes, when you record the meeting in Google Meet, you can get the soft copy of the chat but every participant has to enter the detail not all the participants are active and also if the participants or students concerned they may join at any time uh, they may join at the beginning they may remove at the between again they will join at the end of the meeting so they will be claiming for that lens. so how to monitor those things so here is the plugin so we will see this in this video how to use this plugin let's get into the video Please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon and get notified for every new videos. So go to Google search and search Google Meet Attendance Extension and here is the first link and when you click the first link you will get this plugin. There are a lot of Google Meet Attendance plugin but this one was uh, really very good uh, where others will get only the names and this plugin will give you a graphical chart that whenever the students are active say for example here they have given a screenshot what are the time the student is active in which time they have left the meeting again when they have rejoined so all the things you can able to monitor like okay that. so google meet attendance is the name of the plugin and it is offered by that name alan kogi you can check so I have already installed it so no need to install it again so let us start some demo meeting okay so yes if you have a normal gmail account you can have uh, participants up to 100 but when you have a mail id with your domain name especially, especially your college uh, mail id if you have it or you can log into that gmail and from that click the nine dots open the calendar and then if you create a meeting you can able to conduct meeting up to 250 participants and also when you click the drop down box there will be a option called live stream so if you enable that add live stream option this link yeah the first 250 participants can able to join the meeting and remaining other participants if you have more uh, than 250 participants the remaining participants can able to see your meeting live with this url okay so let's start this meeting so you can see as soon as we start the meeting the plugin gets uh, enable it's automatic so please don't use any other plugin for attendance uh, if you are using this plugin so it may be a uh, clash with uh, each other <coughs> so just now we have started and yeah yeah as I am started streaming it's asking for to start streaming so if you want to stream and if you have participants more than 250 you can enable streaming here okay so you have to enable this streaming option you have to uh, make the settings earlier and you have to enable here to stream it online yeah now it's our meeting is on right uh, you can see the option here for the plugin so now I am the only participant so it shows my name here you can anytime you can able to copy paste or you can able to save and this blue color uh, it says that it is monitoring that means so you will be having uh, or you, have, you know the google meet attendance that name you click here and then you will have a button click tweak where settings so any times if you close if you click this close button it shows the attendance uh, uh, name list okay 
so previously you have to make settings enable it will not be enabled previously so click here and there is a setting option here pq settings go to there and you can see lot of options right so this monitor attendance should be enabled previously it will not be it is enabled uh, when you install the plugin so you have to enable this and uh, you can click these two options so whenever you end the meeting all the data will be saved automatically as html file and csv file so no need to worry whether we have saved it or not okay so this is what the settings you have to do now we can go back uh, okay i am joining from my mobile with another uh, as another participant so now i have joined using my mobile phone so you can see my uh, second name that is uh, my name is in the first list and uh, through mobile I have joined so it's in the second one so yes I have joined uh, the time is 7.29 so we will wait till 7.30 so I can be able to explain you how the graph is generated yeah so I am going to leave from the mobile so I am rejoining again and I'm going to leave it. Leave again. Okay. Now we will end the meeting and we will see how it saves. And meanwhile, you can also able to save uh, manually uh, by using these two icons, uh, CSV or HTML file. Okay. So we will just end the meeting. This was the i. This was the icon for uh, your uh, plugin. So if you don't want to show up this dialog box, you can just click. It will be hidden. And if you want to view it again you can click here to view it anytime so this was the html file created and you can see uh, i have joined at the meeting started at 7:25. Uh, it says the time here and uh, I'm, i have been joined using my mobile at uh, 7:28 and uh, up to 7:30. yeah yeah 7:30 was there so it shows uh, the duration of my presence in this meeting And also, uh, CSV file is also stored. I will open it. Up. Yes, here it is. And if you want, you can check the CSV file also. Uh, it shows that. See, it clearly shows two minutes. I was there for two minutes. Uh, Seven twenty-eight. This is the start time, and up to seven thirty, I was there. And for the second time, uh, it just came, and uh, with the, within a minute, I have again just exited. So that is the reason uh, in HTML file it is not shown. So hope this plugin will be very useful for all uh, staff or teachers who is handling online classes to monitor the students when they are coming uh, for your class whether they are coming very late or whether they are just coming at the end for the sake of attendance. So you can able to check each and everything. Thank you.